Hi, it's Max and Gab, and we're Mom. review and we're reviewing Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, the sequel to Rise of the Planet of the Apes from three years ago. Yeah. This time it's about ten years later, yeah. and the virus that was starting to um, go around at the end of the last film has um, pretty much wiped out most of the human race. Everyone's dead. It seems like it. Well, not everyone. There's a small group of survivors, at least in uh, San Francisco, if not in other places in the world. And, um, of course, the apes are thriving, and they're living uh, the other side of San Francisco and forming their own society. And everything's going along pretty well into the two groups have to cross paths, and um, each side has good guys and bad guys, and, uh, you know, yeah. they have to learn to get along, or not, and we don't want to spoil anything else uh, other than that, so what do you think of it? It was good. What do you like about it? Effects were good. Really good effects, and the apes look amazing, yeah. as good as last time, if not maybe a little bit better. A lot more apes. Yeah, more apes this time, would you say? Like, like Yeah, I guess way more apes. You see more of the apes, you get to know them more. They're speaking a bit more. Yeah. So more ape personalities this time. More words. More words. Yeah, they got a bit of a language going, so I love seeing the apes. Um, to me, more interesting than the humans. My worst part, you know how we do best part, worst part? My worst part with any scene, there, there were no apes. When there were just humans, I'm like, eh, let's get back to the apes. Yeah, <laughs> humans yeah. are boring. Humans are kind of boring. I mean, no, the human characters are good and they're necessary for the story, but I mean, this really is about the apes. And, you know, it's complicated now. You don't know who you want to root for. Like I said, each side has good guys and bad guys. The two societies are very similar, and of course, there's, there's um, themes, uh, important themes in that, in, in the similarities uh, between um, the apes and the humans and learning to get along. And uh, so, of course, there's Caesar. What do you think of Caesar? Caesar is like the salad. Like what? The salad. The salad? Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, Caesar's salad? Yeah. Caesar's the ruler. He's the man. Yeah, that's why he's a salad. So that's why he's a salad? Yeah. He's, he's good for you. He's good for his people. He's a great yeah. leader. And uh, the humans have important characters, too. I mean, there's a lot of characters you care about, humans and apes. And I was really tense a lot of the time. What do you think of the action? Action was good. Good. Apes fighting each other. Each other and the humans. And it's humans. like a war movie. I mean, there's definitely a lot of battle scenes. Yeah. Um, violence. But did you find it scary? What would you? What age would you think? Well, eight. Well, not too young. Obviously. obviously. I mean, it's very um, intense and um, a lot of fighting scenes. A little bit bloody. But it's rated PG, so it's not. Um, extreme violence or scariness. To me it was more intense um, and upsetting in the way that um, combat is upsetting. And also if you don't like seeing animals get hurt, obviously apes are animals. But Max is 12 and he's totally fine with it. Yeah. And how do you think it was compared to the um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes? We, we rewatched Rise before we saw this movie. Better. Better? More action. Because more action. How did I know you were going to say that? Less animal cruelty. Less animal cruelty, less, well, yeah, I mean, in the first one, humans are do experimenting on apes, and that actually causes some of the problems that are in this film. So this film does connect to, well to the story of the first one um, in a few ways, and yep. so you really feel like it's a part two, and like it builds on the story, um, and like I say, it builds on the characters, and you really grow to care even more about the characters. And this one's in 3D, we saw it in 3D, what do you think of the 3D? It was good at some times, it Yes. It was it was fine, but I don't think it's it necessary. It wasn't a 3D movie. No, I don't really think it's necessary to see it in 3D. I mean, when the, lape, the apes are leaping around, it's kind of nice, but um, I don't think it's a must to yeah. see it in 3D. Although it's beautiful to look at, I don't think it has to be in 3D, save a couple bucks. So, I mean, would you recommend this movie to your friends? Yeah, it's good. It's a good summer movie. Good. Yeah. Action. Action, action, action. And he cares about the action, I care about the heart. Oh, there's a little kissy, right? Is that your worst part? There was one kissy? Yeah. Yeah? There's a little ape kissy too. How do you feel about ape kissing? Is it better or worse than human kissing? Worse. 
<laughs> I guess it's kind of creepy. Um, but you know, to me, it's like I, I, I love action, but I, I love it when I care about the people who are involved. And in this, you really do. The people are the apes that are involved. Um, and you really do. So it's a great combination of those two things. It's, um, you know, it's, it's the summer blockbuster spectacle with um, heart and with good, leaves you a lot to think about if you want to. So uh, what more could you want? How many maxes? Four point seven two. Four point seven two maxes. Okay, uh, that's a new one. I'll give it four point two five gabs. I liked it a lot. Really recommend it. Uh, Rewatch the first one uh, if you get a chance. Uh, if you like that one, you'll like this one, of course. If you like some of the movies, um, you know you can't uh, you can't go wrong with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. This is Gab and Max. Uh, Thanks for watching.